Hi, I'm Paris Michelle Blair, and welcome to another episode of Mindful Living Cafe Express. We're featuring a dish called Asian pasta today, and I'll be joining my co-host and co-producer, Barry Martin, to share aspects of manifesting using the spiral method. Stay tuned to find out more, and don't forget, feed your body, mind, and spirit. Namaste. Welcome to another episode of Mindful Living Cafe Express. This is Parish Michelle Blair. And I'm with Barry Martin, and we are enjoying another great dish you get to sample at the Mindful Living Cafe Synergy Socials. What we're eating today is what I call Asian pasta. And I call it that because it's got Asian vegetables, it's got some chicken in it, and I threw in some pasta. Pretty creative. Yeah, it's really good, actually. <laughs> Let me try and see how it turned out. You like it? I do. I liked it. I had some the other day. You remember you made it for the for me the oh, other yeah. day, and um, um, and also you you've been doing a lot of writing. I wanted to kind of bring that up because I saw you. You've been writing in circles. Lately. I have been. I've been indulging in in this magical experience that I've had with manifestation spirals, and I want to share it with you. It's something I was guided to do from the universe, and I've had some really incredible experiences. I've been able to manifest people in my life that I've, I haven't heard from in months, and they call me immediately after I do these spirals. I've been able to manifest um, material things into my life through these spiral exercises, and I just want to show you what this looks like. What I do is I get a little note pad, um, like a post-it pad, and I write the thing that I'd like to manifest. Like what, what for instance? Uh, well, on September 2012, I wanted to manifest abundance, um, specifically um, abundant amounts of moolah. And what I did was I wrote that in the center, whatever it is that you want to manifest. If it's a solution to a car problem or... Uh, a, a new promotion, whatever it might be. And then for me, as a lot of people know, as they watch the show, I do everything based on guidance. So I would literally use that yes or no um, tool to ask the universe, what words should I write around this spiral? So I wrote um, affirmations, and maybe that might be something that you can do, affirmations that you know serve you well. After you write down the, the specific thing that you want to manifest, start writing around that post-it note, whatever shape it is, this happens to be round, you can cut it into a round shape if you'd like, and start writing your affirmations. And what I found works for me is that whenever I look at this, I'm looking at the, the <laughs> whenever I look at this, I'm looking at what the specific thing is that I want to manifest every time, but also my subconscious mind is drawing in the words, the affirmations that support that. And then oftentimes when I'm super stressed out, and I really don't want to focus on the thing that I'm manifesting because it makes me feel anxious, especially if I have a timeline attached to it. I just focus on the affirmations, and I find myself, as Barry said, writing in circles writing and in circles. reading, yep. reading in circles. But you've you've seen me manifest these things. So I have. I really it really have. does work, and I know that's like an earful in the short amount of time during this Cafe Express. But what you can do is go to our Mindful Living Facebook fan page and take a look at the method that I use and that has helped a lot of people as well as this great recipe for Asian pasta. And we want to encourage you to always stay tuned and stay involved and feed your body, mind, and spirit. All right. Namaste. Namaste. You said a mouthful. <laughs> Pretty good.